Hello guys, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. Now I will tell you how to download and install latest version of Java JDK and latest version of Eclipse ID. Latest version of Java is 19.0.2 and latest version of Eclipse is 2022-12. Now I will tell how to install in your system. First you go over to Chrome browser. Now I am in Chrome browser and write download Oracle Java Oracle Java download and this is the official website of Oracle Java you click here now the official website of Oracle appear here now you see Java AC development kit 19.0.2 this is the latest version of Java and you see there are three platforms is there one is Linux, Max and Window now I will go for Window and Windows 64 bits and file size is 158.91 and the link for downloading on the link and then it will download it will start to download in your system now I will double click here now you see it is downloading in my download file. Now I start, uh, download is complete. Now I close the this window and going to my download file. This download file. You see it is downloaded. So now to install in my system, I am double click on the downloaded file. Close this window. Now you see welcome to installation wizard for Java De AC development key 19.02. And I click on click on next. And uh, you see uh, it will install in my C drive program file. So I am telling it X and uh, next because you can change it, but I will not change it. I am going for the default location. So then that's why I am click next. Now it is downloading in my system. It is 64 bit you see, it is 64 bit. Downloading in its process. Now download is successfully downloaded, successfully installed in my system. And then close it. Now you have to set path for Java. And I have to go C drive program file. here you java double click on java double click on jdk and double click on bin okay now up to bin it is up here now i have to copy this link that's why so just right click here right click here and copy the link control c and minimize this window Go to environment variable, environment variable, double click here or open environment variable. Now see environment variable is there in advanced and system property advanced environment variable and click on environment variable and there is a new window is appear. Now I will set the path. This is my path. You double click on the path and click on new and paste the link here. You have to paste the link here. Have to paste the link and then OK. Then I have to pass, I have to set path on home. And that's why you have to uh, double click on new and you will write in caps. In capital letter you have to write home underscore java and paste link here. 
you have to paste the link i paste the link and here we have to i have required up to jdk 19 so i am just going to delete this bin bin up to 19 you have to paste the uh, this link and then okay and then okay and close this okay now i'll go for cmd prompt because i have to see whether it is downloaded it is installed in my system or not so i'm going for cmd prompt and you write java hyphen hyphen version and enter press enter now you see in my system it is installed java 19.0.2 it is installed in my system. Now I have closed this CMD prompt. Okay. Now I will go to open Eclipse ID. Again, I have to go Google Chrome browser. Write Eclipse download. Ah, uh, this is the official website of Eclipse. Click here. You see, Eclipse version is 2022-12. Download here. Download this click and again download. Now it is start to download in my system and it is downloading in the same area in download file. So I will save it. Now it is downloading in my download folder. The file size is 120 MB. Now see, downloaded is complete. So I close the window and go to my download folder. Now see, it is downloaded here in download folder. And double click on the Eclipse. Now, now it is going to install in my system and close this window now it is downloading now it asks lot of option is there the first option is Eclipse ID for Java developer it is basically for uh, Java core project when you make any Java core, uh, core, Java core program, then you have to select it. And this is Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developer. It is for Advanced Java program. You can write Advanced Java program here. And as well as you can write a core program also. So I uh, the, I think it is better to cho choose this, this one. This one is for only core Java. This one is core Java as well as Advanced Java. And this is for Eclipse ID for uh, C and C++ and Eclipse ID for PHP. Now I will go for Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developer. Double click here. Now see my Java version, Java JDK version is 19 and my Eclipse is 2022-12. So I will just going to install it and it, it will create a shortcut shortcut on my desktop and install here I'll click on install and you have to accept the agreement I am accepting the agreement now it is going to start down installing in my system but it will take couple of minutes so please stay with me Still it is installing, please stay with me. Now see, install is completely successfully and I am going to launch it.
Now it will ask for workspace. It asking for workspace. Workspace sir, is the place where whatever the program you write, write in Java uh, Eclipse ID, whatever the program you write in Eclipse ID, it will store in this workspace. You can change the workspace, but I am going to, I, but I am going for the default workspace and launch. Now, it has been installed in my system. This is the welcome page. And you can, if, if you are having time, you can read this uh, welcome page. Now I am going to close it. Welcome page. And here also given some guideline how to make a project. Okay, now I am going to close this welcome window. Now I am going to create a demo project for you. How to write Java program in Eclipse ID. Now first you have to go file and uh, new and others and you see here Java project is there. So I will click on Java project and click the next. I am giving the project name is demo. I will put the name demo and then finish. Now it is asking open perspective, but I have not required this perspective, so I just click on no. Now I have to create a class file because in Java you have required a class file. Just click on SRC, right click on SRC and create new and create a class. You click on class. So, first I am giving you the package name. Package name I am giving this uh, name is create. Package name I am going to create. I am giving name is create. And class name I am giving Java demo. Java underscore demo. Okay. Then uh, I have required the main method. Main method is in Java, main method is public static void main. And finish. Now, this is the program of Java. It is appear in uh, Java demo, uh, Java demo. It is created in Java, Java demo class. And I, here I am and you can delete this one. It is, it is just an example only. You can delete it. And you write system dot out dot print and send a uh, send a message. Here I am writing a message. This is this is my first Java project and I am going to pass this message and even now I will take the I will see the output of this message. So I have to save the file and run this file run as Java application. You see the here, it has given the output. This is my first Java project. So now you understand how to write Java program in Eclipse ID. Now I will tell you one thing, one more thing, how you write Java program in Notepad also. So I just copy this code from class 2, this, this one, just copy it and now open a folder in my desktop giving the name demo 
and here in under the under the demo folder inside demo i have open i am creating a notepad file notepad i am open a notepad in notepad i am writing that code okay my class name is java underscore demo and copy this class and save save as java underscore demo and in java you have to put the extension dot java and save it now you see you see in my in my notepad java demo is created i created java demo class now in the, i'll open the cmd prompt just right click here i write cmd and press enter cmd prompt is open now i i will compile that file notepad file i will write java c and the file name is demo underscore java dot java java underscore demo dot java as I save the file and press enter now java underscore demo is file is created java demo is compiled and again I write java and file name is java underscore demo and press enter now you see output Output is this is my first Java project as I have written in my notepad. You can see it here. As I have written in my notepad, this is this is my first Java project. Same here, the, you see, this is my first Java project. The same here. Okay. Now I'm going to close it. And this one is close it. I'm going to close it. Now you have understand how to write a program in Eclipse ID and Notepad. For Notepad, you have to open the CMD prompt. And for Eclipse ID, no need, no need for CMD prompt. So you can write it here only and you can see the output. And now, now I think you have understand how to write Java program in Eclipse ID. So now I'm requesting you Please do subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for further notification. And you, if you, whenever you uh, subscribe my channel, it inspires me to create new video for you. Please do subscribe my channel. Thanks, thanks for thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks you. Thanks. Bye.